Hi, this short screencast will go through how you can use Book Creator to make a book. To get started, all you need to do is simply click on where it says in the top left hand corner, New Book. Tap on New Book and you're presented with a number of layouts. If you're thinking of asking your students to work with Book Creator and to then combine those various books together, it's important that when you're at this stage, you ask all students to create their books in the same shape be it portrait, square or landscape. If you don't do that, you can't combine books from different layouts together. So it's important you choose the same one across all your iPads in your classroom if you're working in that way. So simply choose your layout, and for this example I'll choose portrait, and you're then presented with a portrait page. This is the cover. From here, we can then tap on a number of options in the top right hand corner to do things with our book. To add things in, you simply tap on the plus symbol and that will present you with the options that you can use to add things into your book. So this is my cover, so if I go to photos, I can then go into there, and go into my camera roll and then choose a picture to be my front cover image. So I'll choose a picture of the earth here and that will drop in like so. Now I may want to put in some text as a title, so I'll tap on the plus again and on this occasion I'll choose add text. I can type in some text, so I might put in the earth, for example, and that will then drop in like so. The next icon across, next to plus, or add, is the inspector. That's that tiny little eye in a circle in between those three icons in the top right hand corner. Tap on the inspector, and because I've already got my text highlighted, it gives me my text options. If I was to choose the image, instead of the text, and I tapped on the inspector, I'd get different options linked to the uh, image that's there. But I want to format my text, so I'm going to select my text, tap on the inspector, and I can now do things with it, such as make it bigger and smaller. I can change the font if I want to, and there's quite a few fonts that come as standard within Book Creator. I'll just choose Futura for now, and go back. Uh, I want to align it in the center, so I tap the center icon, and it's already in front of the earth, although I will move it in a moment to be more on the centre of the page anyway. I could, if I wanted to, choose a background image, uh, but I don't actually want one, so I'm just going to go to None. Uh, and I can also change the colour of my font as well, although again, I'm very happy with the colour choice. I'll make it a little bit bigger, and I'll tap away, and I'll use the resize handle just to make it a bit wider. And what I'd like to do is try and get the text boxes to uh, line up to the edge so that uh, I'm then able to get the text bang in the centre, like so. So there's my uh, title, and I'm just going to pop in another bit of text. So add, add text uh, by Mark, done. And note, it's picked up the formatting from before. This isn't the title, so I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller, and I'll then just drag that down to the bottom. I can use the guides like so to help me uh, line up where my text goes. So if I want it sort of slapping in the centre as well, I can use the guides uh, as a means to get it to snap into the middle of the page like so. So that's the cover sorted. And now what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just move on to my next page. So to put a new page in, uh, I don't go to the add button or the plus button. I tap on the arrow on the right hand side and that opens up my page two and three. So what I'm going to do now is I'll just drop in uh, some uh, more things. So to show you uh, the other features, uh, the camera, if I was to tap on the camera, I could just drop in a photo that I take within the app, which is obviously very handy. Uh, I'm going to choose the pen tool now, though, just to show you what you can do with that. So I'm going to just draw um, a picture of um, the earth, like so. I can change the color of the pen and, and what have you. Uh, I'm just going to draw in also water like so and we're not a water planet obviously so I'm now going to put in some countries and like so obviously this is not uh, geographically correct you get the idea though it's actually more like a football than a, uh, the earth but you get the idea with the drawing uh, you've got an eraser there as well if you wanted to rub something out if you made a mistake uh, you can also in your pen options here change the size and width of your pen uh, so you can create some quite nice drawings there uh, if you're that way inclined. When you're finished, tap Done, and your image appears on the page. 
what I like now is though, if you were to try wanted to try and draw something uh, which would then end up being uh, a bit smaller, you can draw it nice and large within a drawing area. Uh, but once you've drawn it, you can then actually shrink it down and pop it somewhere out of the way a little bit, should you want to do that instead. So there's a drawing. Uh, what we can also do is add in a recording uh, to make the uh, book have a bit more interactivity. So let's just tap on the plus again and go to add sound. And so uh, what I'll do is I'll just tap start recording. Once upon a time, the planet Earth was born. And then a sound appears on the screen in front of you. And you can tap on it and it'll play what you said. Once upon a time, the planet Earth was born. And from that, you can then make that a little bit bigger, uh, a bit smaller, uh, or you could move it into a space where you've got an image and drop it on top to add some interactivity to that particular element. We can also add in video. I didn't show you before, but if I go back to the add symbol here and go onto photos, I can actually go through to video that I've got and drop in video. So here's a short video that I made in uh, an app called Touchcast. I'll just choose use and it drops it in. And again, you have more interactivity that you can have on your page. You get the idea. So those are the key features and elements uh, within the app Book Creator. One thing to remember when uh, with Book Creator is if you want to interact with or work on any element, all you have to do is simply select it and then go to the inspector and you can then work on uh, different things to go uh, with that particular uh, element that you have highlighted. So again, for example, with the video here, we've got format options, we've got the move to front and back and what have you. You can change the poster image that goes on front of it. So it could be that you want it to show uh, this bit here, for example, as the uh, image that's shown to represent the video or one of the other images that are here, which pulls uh, from the various elements within the video uh, that you've got for the entire length of that particular video. The final thing for me to show you are your page options. And you get this on every screen when you uh, choose the inspector. So what you simply do is tap on where it says page at the top on the right hand side, tap on page, and you then get your page options. Okay, so for example, if you've got um, a, a song that you wanted to be played as your soundtrack throughout the entire book, uh, turn that on, uh, choose the track you wanted to be played. Uh, so let's say um, it's going to be um, Abide With Me, I would choose that. I'm not going to now, but I would choose that. And that would then play uh, when you view the book uh, in iBooks when you look at it, in an interactive book rather than a flat PDF, uh, obviously. So I'll just cancel that, come out again in a second, go back to my page options. So here you can, at the top, you can change your left-hand side page colour uh, to whatever you want. So I'll choose that colour, for example, uh, and then I'll, I'll do the right page colour and choose that one. Okay, uh, so there's your page options there. You can help yourself as well. You know, it was snapping too, um, when I was centering that text before and what have you. This is where you can put things on to help you uh, to uh, lay things out in your page. You can have the editor, set editor settings turned on or turned off. And so that's it, really. Those are the key features of Book Creator. I hope you find this screencast useful. Thank you very much.